Hi, I'm Buffalo Bill Cody, and you're at Trailers from Hell. Today we're going to look at the 1941 smash Warner Brothers hit, The Maltese Falcon, which not only established Humphrey Bogart's stardom, it also was the directorial debut of screenwriter John Huston. This trailer, for more than half of it, is Sidney Greenstreet, who was 62 years old when he made this picture, his very first film. He was a well-established stage actor on Broadway and in the West End. Um, he made 23 films, nine with Peter Lorre, but his uh, impression as this guy Gutman in The Maltese Falcon is the one we'll always remember. Um, even in Casablanca, he's still sort of Gutman from the Maltese Falcon. In any case, this is a remake for all of those of you who rant against remakes. This is the third remake of a Dashiell Hammett, their story, the Maltese Falcon. That is the beautiful and sexually prolific Mary Astor with Humphrey Bogart. This is a picture the studio did had uh, no confidence in. They really didn't think it was special until the previews. That's the great Peter Lorre playing a rather overt homosexual, Elijah Cook, the ultimate fall guy. Uh, he wasn't in the howling because he was asking too much money. But nonetheless, this is the Maltese Falcon. This is a the most ruthless lover. Hmm, I don't know about that. Bogart plays a private detective named Sam Spade, and he becomes involved with his partner's murder in this quest for the Maltese Falcon, this fabulous object that people are willing to kill or have sex for. It's uh, the object of desire for many people, especially the fat man. We were talking about a lot more money than this. There are more of us to be taken care of now. Well, that may be, but I've got the Falcon. You may have the Falcon, but we certainly have you. I've taken a lot of riding from you, I'm gonna take. Get up and shoot it out. Stop it. The police will be here any minute. Now talk. Oh, how can you accuse me of such a tip? This isn't the time for that schoolgirl act. We're both of us sitting under the gas. There's a lot of double crossing. It's a really well-made, tight little Warner picture. It established John Huston as a filmmaker to watch. It's a wonderful movie. This is why uh, Classics are classics, because you can watch this how many years later and still think it's great, even if you don't know who Gladys George is. Peter Lorre, we love him. Sidney Greenstreet, we love him. The Maltese Falcon. You notice they don't mention John Huston or Dashiell Hammett. Oh, they do mention the author of The Thin Man, <laughs> if you know who he is. 